In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the Theme Builder dashboard in the Storyteller OS. When you're writing a story, there are lots of ways to use themes, motifs, and symbolism. Let me break down how themes, motifs, and symbolism are used and structured in a Storyteller OS project. So a story's themes are a broad conceptual philosophy that you wish to convey through your work. Inside your project, you can have one or more themes that you want to explore within your story, and you can also help solidify your theme via a thematic statement or a thematic question. Inside each theme, you can have one or more motifs. Motifs are reoccurrences that happen throughout a story to help reinforce a theme. And symbols are specific instances of a motif. By illustrating a motif, symbols then help illustrate the larger theme. So you can see this kind of nested framework. You have symbols within motifs and motifs within a theme. Let's see an example of this. We're gonna break down one of the themes of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. One of the story's themes is desire and ambition, and it's solidified via the thematic statement of the American dream is empty and unattainable. So within this theme of desire and ambition, there is a motif of the color green to illustrate it. The color green appears multiple times throughout the story, and these are the specific instances that make up this motif. These individual instances are symbols. This same nested structure is how themes are built and organized in the Storyteller OS. So after you've created a project within the Storyteller OS and have done all the basic steps to set it up, you can scroll down to your list of dashboards and click on this theme building dashboard here. If we scroll down here, you'll see these three database views, themes, motifs, and symbols. Best to start with this first database view, themes. So let's say we're writing a series of books called Harry Potter, and we've come up with some abstract ideas we'd like to explore in our overall story. We'll enter them here in this view as themes. So let's say we want to explore concepts like death, power and greed, and how about coming of age? Because, well, this story is about a boy becoming a teenager and an adult. For each of these themes, let's make it a little bit more concrete of what we're exploring by giving it a thematic statement or a thematic question inside of this field. Let's say for death, we want to say, death is a natural part of life and the ones we love always stay with us after they die. For power and greed, let's say, the desire for power is very dangerous. And for coming of age, let's say, being a teenager and becoming an adult can be a messy experience. All right, so we have three themes put down and they are now in our themes database. Helpful tip. Give your themes emojis or icons to distinguish them better. This will be helpful in other views later on. All right, let's add some motifs to our themes. Let's drill down into our theme about death. What reoccurrences can we have in our story that help illustrate this theme of death? They can have a positive connotation or a negative connotation to our thematic statement. Or if you decide to use a thematic question, these motifs can illustrate multiple viewpoints that can answer the question. For death, let's add some motifs. Let's add seeking immortality, sacrificing one's life, not fearing death, and connection to loved ones beyond the grave. That looks good. Let's go to the motifs view and add symbols that will occur in our story to make up this motif of seeking immortality. We'll add symbols to this symbol property next to this motif. This property is a relation property tied to the details and symbols database. The reason symbols and details are consolidated into one database is because symbols can also be tied to specific characters, world elements, locations, scenes, etc. in your story. So it makes sense to keep all that info in just one database instead of it separating into two. It just keeps things a lot simpler. So for Seeking Immortality, let's add a symbol about the Sorcerer's Stone. We're gonna write, the Sorcerer's Stone can create the Elixir of Life, which makes the drinker immortal. Let's add another symbol for Seeking Immortality. Voldemort uses Horcruxes to cheat death, thus making him virtually immortal. And one more symbol for Seeking Immortality. How about, wielding all three Deathly Hallows makes one master of death. 
So now we have some themes, motifs, and symbols built out. Let's connect these symbols to various elements of our story so we can keep these notes connected. We'll go over to this symbols database view to do that. So you see here these toggle groups of themes. Under our theme of death, you see the different symbols we've already created and the motif they are instances of. For this symbol slash detail of the Sorcerer's Stone, let's tie our Sorcerer's Stone page to it by scrolling over here to this world elements relation property and selecting Sorcerer's Stone. For this symbol slash detail about Voldemort and his Horcruxes, let's tie Voldemort using the characters relation property. And let's tie Horcruxes via the World Elements property here. We'll do the same thing for this Deathly Hallows symbol. So now we've tied our symbols to different elements of our story. If we go back to our project's main page and scroll down to our World Elements database and find the Sorcerer Stone page, under its detail list, you can see the symbol we just created and tied to it. You can also add symbols and motifs straight from various elements of your story. So let's add a detail slash symbol to the Sorcerer's Stone here and say, Harry is given the choice of bringing his parents back if he gives the Sorcerer's Stone to Voldemort. He refuses. Let's tie characters to this detail slash symbol. The world element, as you can see, is already tied. Let's create a new motif for this symbol and call it Preserving the Sanctity of Death. And if we click into this newly created motif, we can tie this motif to our theme of death via this property. And if we go back to our theme building dashboard, you'll see the new motif we just created of preserving the sanctity of death and the new symbol slash detail tied to it, which is also tied to Harry, Voldemort, and the Sorcerer's Stone. So as you can see, you can create and connect themes, motifs, and symbols in various ways throughout your Storyteller OS project. Learn more about the Storyteller OS on storyflint.com.